Hello everybody, this is a little video to explain you how to start up your microsensory telemetry set. First of all, to start the transmitter, you remove the little brackets on the side here, you see, lift it lightly and remove the transmitter from the dock. It will start, the LED, like you see, will start flashing and just wait some minutes for him to start up. Remind that uh, the microsensory automatically, automatically sorry, turns on when you remove it from the dock and will be shut off or turned off when you put it back on the dock. There is no other way to turn off your transmitter. Thank you. <coughs> so, once the transmitter is turned on, you're going, you're, we're going to turn on the receiver by a long press on the left button and we're going to wait as soon as it connects on the GPRS model or on the track model you will see immediately if the connection is fine this means the battery of the level of the transmitter if the GPS of the transmitter is, is fine if the phone coverage is okay the J will mean that the transmitter has been sending its position to the telephone network and this yellow symbol is the GPS antenna from the receiver that will turn green in a second. Here you see in it, this means it is, it is in initial mode so that the transmitter is in its start mode. Mm -hmm. This is all automatic on the track model. If you want to check the phone coverage on the normal full model, you have to make a long press on the info mode, which is this one. Press and hold it until it's turned red and it will ask the information to the transmitter and then you will see the phone coverage appearing. Here you can see that the GPS from the receiver is also in green and now you can start up real-time GPS. To start up real-time GPS just push the yellow button, the yellow mode. The receiver will send the command to the transmitter and as soon as it's connected you will see an, ar uh, an arrow, a silhouette of a sitting bird if the bird, if the transmitter is not moving, if it would be flying, you would you would have a flying silhouette of a flying bird. To put the height on zero, press and hold altitude, and that's it. Obviously, uh, in the first connection, you could have some mistakes of the distance, but then it will become little by little more accurate. If you have contact with the transmitter, the meters will be in white. If you would have lost contact and you would go to a last position, uh, these letters would be in yellow color. But the receiver would, would tell you, always tell you in which direction you have to head. Now we're going to use the app in real time GPS. If you want to turn on the app, well, just press it. In the iPhone, you don't need to pair your device with the Bluetooth. You just uh, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. If you have an Android device, please first pair up the receiver in your Bluetooth settings of your Android device. Once it's paired, you turn on the app. I choose the page here of the settings. Those are the settings that you should need. Okay, so uh, metric system, microtain or not ticked, uh, beep audio ticked, text-to-speech ticked, then you choose your settings for text-to-speech, which is the one which is shouting you the hate. And then if you go to user, uh, put your ULOC login. Okay, so those are the basic settings. And then we will go to live mode. So to go on live mode, you can ease either open this menu on the top left of your screen and you press live or directly in the app you just press the symbol of the little bird and it will connect in live mode. You will see the Bluetooth that will turn on. For the moment it's red, when it is connected, once it's connected with the receiver it will turn blue like now and you see that the transmitter connected correctly. You've got a blue symbol, you can zoom it in a blue symbol of the falconer and the symbol of the falcon uh, with the green dot which means it's connected with real-time GPS. Here you have the, turn, the, the sound turned on. If you want to turn off the sound it's just a little press on 
this symbol and it will turn off the volume of the beep but you will still have the text to speech you can also turn off text to speech over there the pitch or the height it's uh, on this little place you can zero it by holding it pressing it okay you see here the battery level of the transmitter if you want to see the exact battery level you just press the battery it will tell you the battery level this way of zoom is the one which is holding the bird in the center of the map if you want to change it zoom and have it manually so you can change it with your fingers you just this one is holding the one with uh, the falcon in the, the falconer in the center of the map this one is a zoom to looking for the middle point between falconer and falcon and this one with the little book without any sign is the one you can change just manually so you can zoom in and zoom out without any problem if you want to record the flight you just press this little symbol this white symbol and you will see the chrono meter which is starting to run once the bird will be moving you would see the track moving on this is for the basic working of the app um, if you lose the bird you will see here you've got the strength of the signal and a green dot let's imagine you have lost the bird or you have you've turned you have lost the signal with the bird i will for that uh, for example turn off the receiver you will see that the symbol will change from green to red the color on the dot will change from green to red i'm turning off the receiver and in a couple of seconds here will appear that there is no signal and you see it turned red you see that okay if you would like to go to the last position of that bird automatically you press the three dots over here and you've got an option here go to bird radio or go to bird gsm i'll explain in a second what means go to bird gsm go to bird radio is just to ask your navigation to bring you to that uh, position that last position uh, that you received by radio if you want to see the position that is sent automatically by the telephone that is with the track model you just press this arrow he will interrogate and will show you all the tracks that there were you see you've got the last position in red from received by radio and this is the one sent by the phone so you can just go to that position which is sent by the phone or the one you would have obtained if you would have called the transmitter with the track model you can also press the bird to have a, get a better look at it and if you would like to navigate to there well you could press here go to bird gsm and automatically your app will open uh, your navigation device okay let's go back to the app uh, so i turn on the receiver again you will see that the bluetooth will turn blue and the symbol of the bird now changed from uh, red to green okay so we're going to put the zoom as we wish so it's green it means it's connected it means it's connected by with the radio um, an important thing in the this telemetry system is between flights to disconnect the real time so you save battery to disconnect real time gps and uh, normally when you have it real-time GPS is connected you've got this white square around the yellow arrow if you want to disconnect it you just press and hold the little chain you will see a red square and a red, a red dot that will change and now the square turned white real-time GPS is disconnected if you want to connect it again you just press this yellow arrow and it will start to connect again and you will hear it also on the beeping rate which will be faster okay so it's indicating you see like this is like the track of the movement of the bird but that is just because the gps is is uh, getting back his right position but this would be how the track of the bird would be visible another interesting feature is this uh, foldable aerial this is to search for radio so if you want to search a bird by radio you have to unfold this rate this this aerial this antenna and unscrew your omnidirectional to have the directional one okay and then uh, if you want to go to radio mode you could just press uh, the right button i will show that in a second so here is the 
other aerial screw on on the receiver and now if you want to go to radio mode normal radio mode you just press this button and you select the right channel which is zero in this case you can store up to 50 transmitters on your receiver and you hear a beep and you see a long bar okay this receiver is tuning off his gain automatically he will know in which direction is the transmitter so if we turn it around okay you see you have a long beep there and a long bar and if you turn it again in an, uh, another direction which is not the right one like here for example you see the bar is becoming much shorter okay so it's pretty pretty easy to search by radio with this receiver if you have a long bar long red well you're in the right direction like here okay sorry I can't I don't know if it's really visible and if you're heading in the wrong direction you have a short beep and a short bar the only thing you have to put is the gain up if you want to start up again because he's tuning down automatically so to, to, to put the gain up is just to press and hold here the strength bar okay and now we'll go briefly to configuration of the receiver so to make the different configurations of the receiver and the settings you press and hold the right button and you have a white screen here you can select uh, the brilliance of the screen the volume of the the speaker and you can calibrate the compass to calibrate the compass you just press calibrate compass and you have to make sure that you receive it is on a flat surface and you turn it around there is a little watch that is uh, giving you the time that is necessary and at the end you will have an arrow appearing this arrow is indicating the north okay so if you have to calibrate it calibrate it every two or three weeks or if you change of place but it's no need to calibrate it every day once calibrated you press again on the right button and you will come back to the main menu another thing that is interesting to know is in the configuration menu if you want to calibrate your screen let's imagine your screen is not working anymore well make a long press until you're in the configuration menu then a brief press on the left button a uh, brief press on the left button and you have touch to calibrate and you touch the screen and the little cross which will be moving you see it's going from the top from left to right and from up to down and you press this cross to calibrate your screen it then at the end says touch screen to exit and obviously if you want to test your calibration well just for example put down the, the volume and so you can check if everything is working fine the last thing about the arrow you would not see the arrow appearing if you don't hold the receiver flat as it has a compass inside you need to hold it flat in your hand otherwise the arrow will not appear okay think that some inaccuracies can happen with GPS systems every GPS uh, can have an inaccuracy of up to 20 yards so you can have differences of 30 40 meters it's depending on how many satellites are available and how many uh, satellites you are connected to so remind the basic is I will turn off the real-time GPS and we'll go very fast through the basic steps again so let's suppose you've got a track or a track solar system first turn on your transmitter remove it from the charging dock that is here don't forget to move slightly the metal part then turn on you wait some minutes that your transmitter can be launched then you turn on the receiver you wait a couple of seconds the receiver will ask the status of the transmitter he will say to you the battery level he will say that the gps is fine that it's connected to the network that he's been sending his first position and the receiver will be connecting his own gps for the moment it's yellow and as soon as his own gps is connected it will turn green 
So like you see, receiver is green. You want to turn on real-time GPS, press the yellow arrow briefly. No need to push very hard on the, on the screen, just press it briefly. He will send the command to the transmitter and in a couple of seconds the real-time GPS will be connected. Okay, the altitude to zero it, press and hold it before you fly it. And that's it, basically you're ready to start. If you want to use the app, well connect your app in real-time GPS. If you, once you've finished your flight, you want to disconnect real-time GPS, just press and hold here. You will see it turn red and it will turn white in a second. Now it's disconnected. Remind that on the track model, he will send, start to send automatically positions through the telephone network once he lost the contact with the receiver one and a half hour later. Or if you lost the contact and you want to have the positions before, just give a phone call to the phone number from the transmitter. Okay, that's it, folks. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, I hope it helped you out to get started with the microsensory. Thank you.